Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming back at you with another D&D video. This video, in this video, um, I just wanted to share this with you. This I'm super excited. I ordered some stuff from Miniature Mart uh, or Miniature Market online. Uh, this is kind of like an unboxing and a uh, a review of some of the miniatures that I had acquired in uh, 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 some of the miniatures that I bought. Uh, I bought some D&D miniatures, um, and uh, they're they're one of the best places to shop if you are looking for inexpensive D&D miniatures. Uh, if you just need an individual, a single miniature, shop there. Uh, if you need to buy a pack of miniatures like um, any of the new icons of the realms for D&D 5e, jump on that. Plus they have a lot of the old sets too, or a lot of the old individuals. Plus they buy your miniatures. If you've got extras like you don't need, um, they'll pick them up off you. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this box. It's, we're going into an unboxing. And I got this in today, and I thought that I would share the experience with you guys, checking out this box, opening it up, and blah, 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 right? All right, whoops, I probably could cut everything. Now, this is, now if you've ever shopped at Miniature Market, uh, this is going to be like your first experience at how they package their material and... All that good stuff. So, traditional cardboard box. <laughs> Packaging. Okay. Take a look at that. You know they 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 care about this 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 is just kind of like letting you know they care about your figures and, and they care about you and how you receive your figures. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this packaging material out. Uh, I'm going to put this box on the ground and put the figs on the table. Okay, so what did I get? I got Monster Menagerie, which is one of the newer sets uh, for uh, the Strahd series, the vampires and undead and things like that. But previously, I picked up, I'm running a campaign called the uh, Temple of Elemental Evil. And so I picked up some of those boxes as well. What? I buy Team Yankee. What the heck? Okay. So I'm going to charge for Team Yankee. I might have to say something about that okay included in my box I got this Team Yankee World War 3 book hey it might be by Battlefront I'm gonna take a look through this book later maybe give you guys a little review on it I thought Team, uh, Team Yankee's got a bunch of miniatures and stuff maybe there's like a promotion where they're giving those away okay but I also ordered some individual figures. Okay, here we go. And it looks like they came. Like, here's my miniature market invoice, but they came in a Ziploc bag um, right here. So we'll look at that in a minute also. Let me zip off this side. Oh my gosh, I got tons of bubble wrap. You know what? I'm going to save this box and save this bubble wrap so that if I ever like get back on eBay and start selling stuff on eBay, which I used to do years ago, and I'm thinking about starting again, I'll be able to do that. Okay, so I got, looks like I got um, three Monster Menageries and three Elemental Evils, and we'll get a chance to look at those D&D figures in just a minute. Uh, but first, let's take a look at the singles that I ordered because I ordered these specifically for the campaign that I'm running. Um, I, I got these also, hopefully, that I'll get some figures that will be usable in the campaign that I'm also running. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. Okay, I got a card, Bugbear Champion. 
Um, these cards are old school cards, you know, third edition cards. I don't need those. Uh, taking the staples out because they're just in the way. Okay, here we go. And we're going to take a look closely at these figures that I just got. Okay, now I ordered two of these. One of, okay, I'm just going to dump, and we'll get to them in a minute. Oh wow, I got a bunch of cards. I must have, I must have ordered a bunch of figures that required cards or came with cards. I didn't even know that. Oh, the Magmen. Okay, the Magmen all come with cards, and then the two Bugbear Champions come, come with cards. Okay, sweet. But these cards are old school. These cards, 2005. Yeah. That's like 11 years ago, dang. That's old. Okay. I ordered these two guys specifically um, for the campaign because there is a scenario where there's a <laughs> tiny, I don't even know if you can see these guys. And I'm not sure if my camera can even focus in on these guys, but we're going to give that a shot. Oh, wait, it wasn't too bad of a focus on that. It's coming and going. Yeah, I don't think my camera is like built to focus in on something that close. Oh, wait, almost had it. Yeah, it's just not focusing. I got on autofocus anyway, so. Okay, but what that is, is a sprite. I like the wings. They're kind of clearish, greenish. He's got brown boots. It's actually pretty, I mean, dang, his eyes are painted. And that's like a little bitty, bitty, a little bitty dude. So I'm going to say that's pretty awesome. So that's a sprite, and this is also a sprite. One is with a sword, I guess the one I've got in my hand, and the other one was supposed to be with a bow, right? Bodies and the arms are about basically the same, you know. You're not getting too much variation out of the two. Uh, just one has a bow and one has a sword in the hand. And that's, yeah, because there's going to be two sprites. They're both males. They're not females. Um, okay, so these sprites are going to be used in my campaign, so we're going to go ahead and set those off to the side right there. And then I ordered five, there he is, five magmen. Okay, these magmen don't look, all, they all don't look exactly the same. Like this guy's got a darker arm, this guy's got a very light arm. Uh, that's, you know, black on the arm. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so there's just slight variations of difference. Like this guy's got a serious back. Oh, this guy has like nothing on his left shoulder. That's pretty cool. Okay. So the Magman, right? He's got a foot and then a foot. It's like a lava creature with a little bit of fire. I like the detail that's on this guy. I don't know if my camera is focusing very well. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so there is a there is a room or a scenario where I needed five magmen. These are a lot smaller than I expected. See the magmen uh, that I I painted some figures that I had in my collection and I painted them up as magmen, and uh, they look good, but they're full size characters. These guys that's like half, like even smaller than a half, I mean, like the size of a half line, I guess. Okay, then the next set of guys that I ordered, because I, I ordered these sets individually because I didn't want to get a box like this, risk not getting exactly the ones that I needed. So, so I ordered, how many of these did I order? It looks like I ordered six of them. 
probably three with swords and three with bows. Oh, okay, they got different colored hats. Like if you're looking at a, a green or a brown hat, right, as opposed to the red hats. And what these are are kenku. I ordered some kenku. These are about halfling size too, maybe a little bit larger than a halfling, a little bit taller than a halfling, almost the size of a man. They're on the medium size bases, so they're good. So it's going to be easy for me to see which ones have bows, which is the reds, and which ones have swords, which is the brown guys. Um, I probably still want to number their bases so that, you know, I know which ones are which. I'm not getting too good of a zoom in on it. <clears throat> I don't see, I'll see if I can adjust that from here. Go with it. We'll just go with it. Okay, so we got these kinku. Let's see if we can get them back. Let me take a qu quick glance at these personally. They're kind of duck bill. You know, they're supposed to be bird-like creatures from Japanese mythology. I thought they had whoa. I thought they had wings in Japanese mythology, but maybe not. D and D, they definitely don't. Um, yeah, these are these are definitely pretty cool. I'm digging them, digging them. And hell, these are only a dollar. You know, miniature mark is awesome. Okay, so what do we got? Oh yes, my azure, however you pronounce it, azure. I mean, it's getting like way blurry. Whoa, super close. You can see it. Man, I need to do that. That's awesome. He's all flaming hammer and shield, flaming skull. That's freaking awesome. Look at that. I'm looking at my screen because I got better eyesight on my screen than I do actually with my glasses on. Yeah. Kick butt. Okay. Let's do this. Let's let's go back. See if I can get something really close. Yeah, look at that Kenku. Yeah, I guess I'm going to get super close so you guys can see them. That's painted. For, whoa, 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 I'm going the wrong direction. That's pretty damn cool. Is there a point? Okay, right there. Wow. See what I mean? His eyes are painted. Okay. Okay, so we've seen all those. Now let's look at these bugbears. Now, there, there's a variety of different bugbears out there. There's a ton of them. Uh, but I saw these bugbears, and I thought these looked very much like the bugbears I want to use. Um, these guys might be a little heavily armored for bugbears, but... That's okay. My players can handle it. My players can handle it. I'm all crooked, confused. He's looking at the camera. No. What? Look at that. Barefoot. You know, well, he might not be barefoot. He got wraps on his feet. Look at that weapon, it's like a little fist holding a knife. You know, it's like a like a pickaxe or something. Like a yeah, that's pretty that's pretty cool detail. Okay, so those are the singles that I bought. Right, so we'll put those off to the side. Now, more importantly, let's take a look at our elemental evil box, right? Um, just looking at the box, this box is bigger than this box. Look at that. Elemental Weevil Box, Monster Menagerie Box. When you look, hopefully we'll be able to get some Elementals because the name of the game that I'm playing is the Elementals. There's a, uh, a stone, uh, a black earth a warrior. And then over here you got an air cult warrior, gnolls, salamanders. Hopefully some of that's in the box. Let's take a look.
it appears to be sealed, which is important to me that they're not going through, opening them up, taking out all the cool ones, and then resealing them. I hope, hopefully, they're not doing that. You know, some companies are like that. But tape on both sides. We open them up. We pull it out. Comes in like a little box for the inside of that. Put that off to the side. You get a code for Neverwinter Nights if you are playing the MMO, which I am, but very rarely. And I got one that I wanted to get. I can see it's right there on the top. We won't even talk about those just yet. I'm going to go through here, and you're going to see that it's got the twist ties. That's to keep your main character, the one the one that's in the, in the whatchamacallit. This guy's big. You know, he's really big. We should get one large creature with every box. Well, this is the large creature. It's coming. Okay. I don't even know why you, you don't even need this tie. Because he's pretty much in there already. He's form fitted into the plastic. I don't want to break anything. I'll break some plastic. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Boom. Put the plastic away. Look at my bald head. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Man, that's awesome. Freaking awesome. A little the way the little cloth goes in the back like that. And the freaking legs and the hair. Okay, I don't know if I've got a figure around here to compare size. But hell, I'll just use a bugbear, which you know is a bigger creature. He's big. He's like double the size of a bugbear. And look at the detail on the feathers, the sword, the arm bracers, the open chest there, the, uh, the legs. And the cloth and the fabric. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The wings. That's pretty cool. Okay. And I think it's I think it's this guy. Because this is the flight stand. What are they, what are they calling him? They're calling him a solar angel. Solar as in the sun. As in Lysander, probably. Okay, base goes together pretty easily. This is supposed to only go in a certain way. Okay, I see that. I see that. I don't want to break it, you know what I mean? Bam! Sexy. Okay, now we get four figures, so let's see what the other three are. And bubble wrap by the company. A fire bat. Fire bat. It's kind of clear, you can kind of see the bat. Kind of cool. Fire bat. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. I think it is called a fire bat. Oh, what else we got here? Oh! Speak of the devil. Stone armor. Since one of my players has killed one of these guys and he took his armor, I think uh, I could use this figure to represent him. Even though he uses a greatsword, but this is still kind of cool. I'm trying to get this in a way where you can kind of, it's focusing in and out, you know, sorry about that. 
cod piece with a, you know. Super, super cool, super cool, super cool. Okay, that's an Earth Cult Warrior. And now we move on to. Ooh, we might have got an LML. Freaking A, freaking A. We got a water elemental. That's. Oh, I just see that. Right in. Well, you can't see on the screen. Right there, there's like a little face. See that? That's cool. And in the water, it looks like it's water that's been dry brushed with some light white, gray, or whatever to give it so you can definitely make all the textures stand out. That's cool. So that box is worth it. Okay. Worth it. So far, so good. Let's do another elemental evil. Or, yeah. Try not to cut myself. That'd be bad. Bad. You know the drill. Pull this out. Put the code over there. I'm not going to use. Put the box down. Oh, okay. Another good one. Another good one. Put that off to the side. What did we get here? He's not. He's not strapped in. Okay, cool. I guess I can pop him out. Well, maybe you're strapped in. Hang on, what's going on? Oh, easy. Not really. Okay. What is that? What is that? Kind of the same thing. Still using the clear plastic, but uses the kind of the gray dry brush to give you all the details. It is a whoop, air elemental. 29 or 45. Must be 45 in the set. Mm -hmm. So this would be a large air elemental, I would think. This would be a... Well, let's see what it says. Let's see if we can get that to focus. What does that say? Can you even read that? I mean... Even when it's in focus, you can't read it. <laughs> I think it just says water elemental. So, one of those obviously medium and that's obviously large. Doy. <laughs> Get rid of this fire bat. I don't know why it's keeping it over here. Ooh, okay. I've already got one of these, so now I've got two. This is pretty cool. Fire snake. Nice. All right, let's take a look at. I don't know how many fire snakes I need. Um, I've read through the whole adventure, but it's a freaking long campaign. I might have missed. Oh wait, there's what the heck? This is a fairly large figure. I don't know what it is. Oh, what? Oh, a knoll. Dang, this knoll's big. I thought I thought knolls were smaller than this. Dang, if that's a human, right? And that's a bugbear. That's a knoll. Dang. <laughs> I didn't realize knolls were that freaking big. That's all. I'm going to have to put knolls in my game. Just so I can show off this figure. There are knolls in an area, but the players kind of avoided that area. But they might get to it. The details on the shoulder. 
arm wrap. Okay, there's a little bit of paint things rubbed off of there. I guess you get that sometimes. Take a look at this belt. See if we can get that to focus. Come on, camera. Yeah, that was pretty damn good. That is good. That one figure right there has probably made this whole thing worth it. Yay, a fire bat. I could care less about fire bats. <laughs> or fire snakes. But you gotta have some little you gotta have little figs to make the big figs work. You know, they can't give you all big figs. You know, that's just the way it is. Box three of Elemental Evil. I thought about just going with all all Elemental Evil, but I saw some figs in that set that I thought was good. So there's the plastic. I have that fig. Dang it. Okay. It's all right though. It's a good freaking fig. Get rid of this cardboard. Oh wait, this guy's painted up just a little bit differently than the one I have. Okay, so they are. There is a variation of them. Probably just the guy that wound up getting tasked with painting the figure did a different job, you know. But I'm sure it's not machine painted. Might be, but I don't think it is. Boom. Ogre. You can see how big he is. You can you can just see how big that guy is. Yeah, I mean he, he focuses actually. Because he's so big. Look at that face. Ah. Ah. It keeps coming and going out of focus. Sorry about that guys. I'm just using my webcam. And it's set on autofocus, so. What's on his belt there? Looks like he's got a few skulls he's been collecting. Nice. Then he got a belly button. Attention to detail. Arrgh, that's cool. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Something super small. What is this? I don't think I want to open this package up. <laughs> Yikes. I hate spiders. The spiders are the nastiest. Looks like they took a real spider. Uh, what is that, a face spider? What is that? They're calling it a wolf spider. That's a wolf spider. It's got a wolf spider. That looks cool. Definitely. Definitely cool. Running out of space over here. Okay. just in time sweet I hope that's a not a genasi but a, a fathomer or something what is it called well let's take a look at it first it's a blue female either either a genasi or a fathomer let's take a look let's see what I can read see if my camera can help me out here. Camera, help me out. Let's get the right lighting. Right focus. Air Genasi. Okay. 
It says Air Genasi, but you know what? I'm going to use it as the female fathomer because it's just cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't really have any Genasi running around in my universe, and I'm not really allowing that as a playable race, even though it is in the module. I don't, I don't like doing module races. I just, I don't like doing that. Okay, I've got a second Periton. Okay, this is a flying Periton, which is kind of like a, kind of like an eagle with a deer's head. You know, or a bird with a deer skull and stuff. And what it does is it dives down from altitude, rams you, and climbs back up without you getting attack of opportunity. It's pretty na and it's nasty because it does like 3d8 damage or some crap like that. I had it, I played them in my last campaign, and yeah, players were having a hard time because. The melee guys could never attack them, and they, you know, like my great sword guys and stuff like that, they're always expecting to kill stuff, and they couldn't because they didn't have a bow or something. You know, it was all in the air, so it would be, they had to rely on the magic users and the, and the bow users. Okay, so those are the three elementals. Now we get to the final chapter. This is the Monster Menagerie, Icon of the Realms, Monster Menagerie. Ooh, take a look at that, a Remoraz. No, young, young Remoraz. What is that? A Lich. Nice. Dryad. Homich? Oh, yeah, really? Okay, I wonder if there's a, a Mimic. Displacer Beast. See, these are like standard, traditional bullet. Nice. And these guys are named people, like there's Bryn Lightfingers. Oh, we need, I hope I get a, I hope I get her because... And there's Esmeralda de Avanu. Should I open this from the bottom? It's kind of implying that I should, but I'm not going to. I'm going to open it from the top. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open all of them first. dig deep and see what we get. Now, the big figures in these can't be as big as the big figures in those. There is a new set out, the Storm King's Storm Giant, or whatever it is, but I didn't get it because I didn't rock any of those figures. I probably will. In Ooh, Phase Spider. Ooh, yikes. Phase Spider. I almost didn't want to grab it. I got this thing against spiders. <laughs> Phase Spider. Nice. It's large too. This thing's like gigantic, like oversized. The base is, that is. And these are all small or medium. This one's not even tape sharp. It's just. Ha ha! No, what is this? I don't know what that is. A satyr. Satire, sat, sat, satyr, whatever you want to call it. Tomness. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, focus. I got a finger cramp right now. Sorry. There we go. Oh, he's got a pan flute. Okay. Yeah, my fingers right now. I don't know if you can see that. They're cramped. They're cramping up. It's uh, okay. Ooh, something purple. Oh, that means it's a specter. Because I remember now the specter is a purple figure. See, there's like this thing with this do with this other thing. <laughs> I just like that description. This thing with this other thing. There's a specter inside. You can see the face and the head and the arms and then just floating junk behind it. I could have used this 
early in the campaign because they did meet a specter. But I'm getting it late. See, if I was, I'll, what I've noticed, um, and you might have noticed this too, that, what the heck? Okay, you might have noticed this too, that you'll get a lot, like the Elemental Evil figures, right? I'll get a lot of my, the, the creatures I need out of Elemental Evil, but not all of them. And then the next set, like one or two sets down the road, then they release the additional figures that you need. So, <laughs> that's cool. I guess this is a triad, maybe? Hey, what does that say? Can you see that? Triad. Okay, got it. So I'm doing. Sweet. That's cool. It's all planty. Very small though. Very small. Very 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 small. Yeah, maybe human size. It's hard to tell. Nothing else. But yeah, it's just an empty box. We got Monster Menagerie two. Now, I'm not the kind of guy that would go out and buy a brick of figures, um, you know, um, mainly just because of the money. Just take it, just cost too much. Can't do it. Hey, a Displacer Beast. Displacer Beasts. I love Displacer Beasts. Or at least I used to in first edition. So I played, I've been playing D&D since day one. Maybe not day one, maybe day two. <laughs> Started playing with basic D&D, advanced D&D, D&D second edition. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. It's place your beast. I skipped fourth edition. Okay, this is one of the female humans. She looks like a bandit of some kind, but it's probably that it's probably that girl, Esmeralda de Avanure. That's her. She's box art. Yeah, she looks like a boat pirate kind of person. I'm definitely going to use this figure Wednesday night when we have our game. And what is the... Oh, this is good for for Cody because he wants one of these as is familiar. And I can make that happen now. This is a pseudo-dragon. Little bitty dragon. Little bitty dragon about the size of those sprites. Okay. And let's see what we got in here. I think I just got lucky. There's that half wing. Right? I don't know what she's called. I think that's the half wing that's on here. The Bryn Lightfingers, yep. I'm going to use her Wednesday night for Lori's character. Let me if I get closer, you can see it. Look at that. Look at that. She wanted red hair, so I could I could touch that up a little bit with my own painting magic and make that, uh, make that a redhead. She'd be like, oh, that's so cool. Why is her skin so, I don't know, dirty? Skin is dirty. Okay. Last but not least, okay, let's cross our fingers and hope we get something awesome out of this box right here. We're going, we're going, we're going. Okay, let's try not to see what we're getting. And, oh well. <laughs> oh, I got a code for, <gasps> now I do play, I, I do play Sword Coast Legends. This is giving me twenty five percent off of standard edition. Well, I already 
I already own it. it includes a copy of Sorcos Legends via Steam. A Steam account is required. Yeah, so I already have it. So maybe I can, whoever's quick, can use that code right there and get Sword Coast Legends if you want. Right? All right. Whoever's quick. I'm not going to use it. Sword Coast Legends, I already own. It's an awesome game. Yeti! It's a snow Yeti. I think so, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it looks like he's leaning back, like, hey, you know, like, what the hell? He's like leaning back, arms wide. Man, it's ugly as hell, though. Let's see if we can get like, a close up on his face. Look at that ugly mug. He's got Uggs. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll never use him. Unless the, unless the players do something crazy and need, I need a snow yeti or something because I I've already got a yeti, not that one. Just a ooh, ooh, what the heck? What the heck? It's a beetle of some kind. Got like golden plates. What the heck is that? What the hell is that? I might have to look at it. I might have to. Wait, it's called a. I can almost read that. For fire beetle, a giant fire beetle, maybe that's what it says. Let's see if I can use my digital imagery. Oh, I was almost there. Giant fire beetle. Look at that. I am not as blind as I think I am. Okay. Whoa, what's in this? Oh, wait, what? This was a giant fire beetle right there. I thought this was empty. I thought this was empty. It's not empty. There's something in it. Check this out. Boop! Invisible halfling. Perfect. If she ever goes invisible, I got it. What is she? She's a rogue. So I could use that when she's like hiding. I don't know. Not when she's invisible. That's cool. I got this is my second invisible character. This is my second invisible. All right, last fig, last complete fig. I know you've been on this thing for a while. Oh, really? What is that? Looks like an Egyptian queen or something. Oh, is that a Medusa? Is that a Medusa? Those snakes. Oh, those might be snakes. This might be a Medusa. I think it is. Medusa. Yes, a Medusa. Fine. That's cool. All right, guys, thanks for coming in and joining me on my uh, unboxing and checking out to see what kind of figs I got. Um, I really appreciate that. You know what? I'm going to look at the miniature market thing, see what it says about. Okay, I got the Azure, the Kankus, the Sprites, the Magmen, the Bugbear Champions. Then I got three Monster Menageries, three Elemental Evils. And nothing to do about Team Yankee rules. So see, that just tells you something else about how great Miniature Market is. You should go definitely go check it out. Um, it's an awesome site. It's just miniaturemarket.com. Simple as hell. You know, they're out of St. Louis, and they they have pretty reasonable shipping rates. And uh, like I, like on this, I think because it was over ninety dollars, I think that it was free shipping or something like that. And uh, they shipped it out the very next day. And yeah, I picked like the lowest shipping. You can get it overnighted or whatever if you, if you desperately need it that much. But uh, all right, well, thanks for coming out and I'll catch you next time.